I was kind of worried about worried about the frets when I got here, but uh, the frets are, are perfect. I, I couldn't have asked for for better sized frets. They're uh, excellent, perfect for recording, moving around, or whatever. And um, I keep my string, I keep my action really low. And I mean, my strings will literally buzz as I'm playing, but I, I have such a light touch that it really doesn't make a difference. And believe it or not, from my videos, yes, I, I do have a very light touch. So uh, the frets work out for that if, if you like low action. Um, tuning comfort zone. I have a lot of different guitars, and each one has its own uh, kind of a place in tuning where it sounds perfect, it feels perfect, and it can still stay alive, the, the tone of the guitar. And I found this one to be definitely in a, in a drop tuning. Uh, I keep this one in drop C. Uh, I tuned it in E. You know, it played well in E. It's uh, It just has a better a better feel, it kind of has a, a good slink to it, if, if you're following me. It just, I don't know, really know how to explain it, but drop tuning is awesome with this guitar. Of course, standard E2 is perfect. EMG pickups, talk about that. I'd never had active pickups before this guitar, so I was a little worried about that too. Um, it has an 81 and an 85, and both of them are awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, I think that active pickups take a little bit of the character away from from a guitar. Uh, the tone of it is a little, I don't know, maybe maybe a little neutral. Uh, <clears throat> I like it. They're really aggressive. They're sharp. Uh, when you plug a string, it's like volume is 100%, and when you mute it, it's just zero. So it's it's on and off. It's definitely great for uh, if you're just if you're just chunking on a chord and you need perfect timing to match uh, a you know, double bass or something like that, uh, it's perfect for that. I think it's great. <clears throat> Let's see, the tone knob, at first I couldn't tell if there was a lot of difference, but uh, now that I've played it more, it has, it has a truly flexible in sound. Both pickups, they're both great. Um, I don't think I ever care to have an, another Anyway, don't let me get off on active pickups. That's a whole nother, a whole nother thing. But, but they're definitely cool. Um, don't worry about changing the batteries either. If, if I was kind of worried about that too. I was like, oh, I might have to buy a nine volts thing every week or something. But, but and I put a sticker on there for when I when I changed it last. And um, I don't know. I just changed it. I don't know. Maybe I calculated the hours and maybe every four months or something like that. Uh, I'll change it. But. Um, so far, it's just been just been super, and it's a great guitar. It, it's built correctly. Most guitars I find are pretty good, you know, but they're not just perfect. And I found that most custom-made guitars or um, uh, artist series guitars are made better than the original for the most part. Uh, it's built well. It's strong. They seem to be they're meant to take a beating. I mean, they're it's a real it's a real machine. It's tough. It's not gonna it's not going to crack out on you. It's just super. Uh, I think that's about it. But uh, maybe I'll let, let you listen to it. Here, let me see if I can give you an overview of this thing. I wish somebody had done this for me. A little headstock action right there. And I tell you, I can't get enough of this fretboard either. It's wonderful. It's dirty. And I might mention this in the beginning of the video, I'm not really sure. The Jackson had the compound radius fretboard, and I don't know too much about that. Uh, I was a little worried, worried about, because I wanted the perfect guitar, so I was worried about every little detail when I bought this. But I was worried about fretting out, you know, when you bend a string or something, and you're way up here, and, and it just, it'll just, it'll just good enough, and it'll kind of give a little buzz, and then it's just like, that's it. The strings can't take anymore, especially when you keep your action as low as mine. But uh, it's perfect, and it's really the neck. It's really flat and wide, so moving around really quickly is never an issue with this guitar. So let me let me play it. Let me let you hear. All right, there's no effect at all on the neck pickup. All right, here's a uh, bridge pickup.
Here's a bluesy sound on uh, the net pickup. Thank you. 